Hey, what is going on guys? It is Hoxnest here, back with another Call of Duty mobile video. So today we're actually gonna be starting a brand new series where the goal is to reach legendary tier on my iPhone XS Max. And another thing about that is I actually have 13 days to reach this goal because the season does reset in 13 days. And if I'm not able to reach that goal in the 13 days that I have, I will have to start completely over and we'll just do it next season. Another thing about this challenge is that I'm gonna be doing it fully solo queue. So I'll be doing solo queue on my phone absolutely no playing with pros absolutely no playing on my ipad and if you guys didn't know i typically play on my ipad and i am actually a legendary player on that device but this is a totally separate account and i am currently rookie one we will look at the device very soon and i'll actually show you guys the settings and sensitivity and all that stuff that i'm going to be using i also will be streaming this entire process on my stream channel which will be linked down below so if you guys want to see me go from being a rookie one up to a legendary totally live make sure to subscribe and turn on post notifications on that channel linked down below but before we get into all that fun stuff i just wanted to give you guys a quick word about today's video sponsor before we go on with the video i just want to let you guys know that this video is sponsored by raid shadow legends now obviously i could sit here and tell you guys every little thing about raid shadow legends but obviously you guys don't want to hear that what you want to hear is is this game worth it and basically what am i going to be doing when i'm playing it so i'm just going to go over the basics of what's so cool about raid shadow legends and some really cool things that you guys should know before you actually download it so in raid shadow legends you collect a bunch of different characters called champions and you create teams before you go into battle now when you actually battle there is a couple different game modes including single player and multiplayer modes and when you play these game modes your champions will battle other champions and other characters and the more you play the more you level up your champions the more you get stronger more rare champions the more you can add artifacts and upgrade your characters just as you play you're basically upgrading your champions and your team and developing strategies so that you can win and get farther and farther into the game including farther and farther into the ranking system if you're a very competitive player raid is a great game for you as you can play a ranked mode once again, the game is an amazing strategy game and it has a really good tutorial right at the start to help you get right into the game. If you've seen Raid Shadow Legend ads before, there's a good chance you might have been a little confused, but I'm here to tell you if you download the game and play the very short tutorial, you'll start to understand exactly what's going on within a couple minutes and you'll be playing right away going for those really cool champions and upgrading and just trying your best to win games. Another incredible thing about it is the graphics are amazing and you're not only able to play on a mobile device, which if you wanna download the game, there will be a link down below, but you can also play on your desktop or PC as well and the accounts can link. So if you wanna play on your phone, on like the bus or the plane or wherever you are, and then as soon as you get home, if you have a PC, you could play it on there or you could even keep playing it on your mobile device, which could be a phone or an iPad or whatever you want. Want. And once again, if you use the link in the description to actually download the game, you'll get a bunch of really cool bonus stuff, which you can see right over here. I'll have it listed, including a really cool character called Educator. So make sure to use the link in the description to download Raid Shadow Legends. And with that being said, let's go ahead and get into the video. So once again, thank you to Raid Shadow Legends for sponsoring this video. If you guys want to download the game, link is in the description. But anyway, let's go ahead and get onto the video and look at the settings. So I haven't actually set up the settings yet because I kind of want to show you guys why I'm doing it. I will go through it really quickly just so you guys can, just so you guys don't have to waste any more time and we can get into the gameplay and everything. But I do want this first episode to be like mainly focused on why I'm doing what I'm doing uh, and then setting up everything. And then as the episodes go on, we'll talk about like why I adjusted things and I'll show you guys like the best games and all that. Uh, I'm just thinking each episode will kind of be like an update of how the, the journey is going along with obviously like the best gameplay that I've had up until that point. But anyway, for settings, this is just the default settings. I'll go ahead and set up the HUD that I want to use really quickly. And I'll just kind of talk about a few of the buttons and why I'm putting them there. So before I actually set up the layout, I do want to let you guys know I'm going to be playing with four fingers. If you look at the hand cam, this is how I'll be holding the device. So I'm going to be predominantly setting this up so it fits my four finger layout as best as possible that I normally use on my iPad. All right, so I'm going to be putting this shoot button up here that way I can use the ADS feature when I snipe because uh, I do still use that and I think it's like right there. Yeah. I'm gonna put the map right here and scale it down just a tad all right so that's the HUD I'm pretty much gonna be using if you look at the hand cam you can see kind of how my fingers will be laying and everything uh, this should be good obviously I haven't hopped into a game with this HUD yet so we're gonna have to see if I have to tweak things up uh, I also don't have full muscle memory for all the buttons so I think I'm gonna leave, leave them kind of visible uh, we'll probably go down to like 50% opacity though just so I can still see like enemies. Okay, so that's pretty much what I'm gonna be using for now. Uh, we'll see if we tweak it, but like the, the layout should stay pretty much the same throughout the uh, throughout the whole series. 
So now let's go ahead and set up my sensitivity. So to actually set up a sensitivity, what I like to do is go in a private lobby with a friend or something, uh, and then I'll show you guys the process that I use. So I will be actually using a thumb sleeve. If you're wondering what a thumb sleeve is, it's basically a mouse pad for your finger. Like you put, when you have your mouse on a mouse pad, it makes it so your mouse slides nice and evenly on your desk. That's basically what a thumb sleeve does. It makes it so your thumb slides nicely on your phone. All right, so I just invited my iPad right here just so we can load into a quick lobby. But once again, you can do this with a friend if you want. Anyway, I'm gonna load into the match real quick and go ahead and hold the phone. Oh, by the way, I'm not going to be using gyro just because I still want to play on my iPad when I'm done doing this challenge a little bit. I will probably alternate back and forth because at that point I'll be really comfortable with my phone. Uh, but I don't want to use gyro on the iPad because it would make my, my wrist hurt too much to hold it and move it around all the time. So we're not going to be using gyro uh, just to keep it simple. Okay, anyway, so basically the way that I do my sensitivity is I go into the game and my goal is to do a 180 degree turn with one swipe of the finger. I made an entire video explaining this, uh, but let's just go ahead and do that real quick. So... So yeah, it seems like one swipe of the finger is a little bit shorter than 180 degree turn, which is kind of good. I like it a little bit lower. Uh, I think we'll, we'll go up just a tad bit. So these are my sensitivity settings right here. And then for my standard sense, I'm going to go, let's try 72. Yeah, that's pretty good. Then I go to my website, hawksness.org, go to the mobile sense, and then go to uh, COD mobile multiplayer. And then I just type in the number that I got, which is 72. And these will be the sensitivities that I fill out. So it'll be 89, 119. And then since I probably will, eh, I probably won't quick scope that much on the phone. We'll probably go kind of in between these numbers. Probably do something like uh, 50. Because this is the sensitivity if you want to be a super accurate sniper. And this is the sensitivity if you want to be more like a quick scoper. So we'll probably just go kind of in between. Probably do like 50-ish. Okay, so we have the sensitivities copied over and then I just duplicated it for your firing sensitivity, which I highly recommend. Uh, and then yeah, so for the most part, I recommend fixed speed if you're playing on kind of a bigger device. If you are not using a bigger device, distance acceleration is all right. Uh, I wouldn't really recommend speed acceleration ever. Again, it's all kind of personal preference, but this is gonna be the most accurate setting uh, that you can get. But if you're on a really small phone, it might be nice to have a little bit of acceleration with distance acceleration ticked on. But once again, I am more comfortable with fixed speed. Uh, sensitivity switch, I'm gonna be using switch while opening ADS. This is just the standard setting, which I like. And then yeah, that's the rest of it. So I think that's pretty much good. We have the controls. I also will be having hit fire for everything except my sniper rifle. And that is just so that I can like quick scope a little bit better. That's just the way I've gotten used to it. Basically what that does is it makes it so when I press the shoot button, it'll ADS and when I release it, it'll actually shoot. Yeah, it feels like the, the settings are pretty much comfortable. I'm gonna have to obviously get used to them because I'm used to playing on the, the iPad, but yeah, seems seems all right for sure. One thing I might actually consider doing is using the ADS feature, which is uh, this guy right here and just put ADS on for every single one. Um, I might try that. We might do that for the first few games and see how it feels because I don't really like reaching for the shoot button that much on the uh, the phone. Yeah, we'll, we'll definitely see how, how we feel. So let's go ahead and back out of this and then we can turn off the iPad. Okay, another thing is that I just realized I'm gonna make this account totally free to play. So I'm gonna be relating to you guys that are free to play players on a phone trying to get legendary as much as possible. And we're gonna make this a totally free to play account. So we'll just see how that goes. So I think, let's go ahead and look at the credits. So I do have 2,470 credits. Let's see if I can get anything with that. Um, I could get the AK-47. I could get the S-36. <laughs> uh, we might have to get that later. The RUS is all right. Uh, the BK-57, that definitely might be something I should buy. Oh, the Type 25 Neon Tiger. I think that's probably gonna be the move. Yeah, let's go ahead and buy that. All right, so we're gonna get that. Let's go ahead and set up a loadout. Okay, so I actually do have the Evil Clown because I guess I logged in at the time. We also have like the PDW. So we do have a couple good guns. I think the Type 25 will be our primary though. I'm gonna go ahead and upgrade it if I can. Yeah, okay, we have some weapon cards, so we'll go ahead and upgrade it. I'll just go ahead and set up my standard class. I actually can hold this. <laughs> I'm so used to looking down because the iPad. I can hold it up like this. Uh, since we're using the ADS feature, I'm gonna use the Quick Draw Attachment. Uh, probably lightweight for now, uh, since we're playing ranked, we'll do toughness. And then, I guess hardline also for now, but eventually we're going to want dead silence, but we're really close to that. We only need two more levels. Let's actually equip the type 25. Yeah, that seems pretty much all in all pretty good. Go ahead and rock scout too, because why not? So yeah, it should be my main class, and then we also have a sniping class ready to go if needed. Uh, but yeah, so this should be our primary class for rank. So without further ado, here's our starting stats. We are at one point, we have absolutely no stats. I don't even know if I can, yeah, as you can tell, absolutely haven't played a single game. So this will be our very first game and just kind of kicking off the series to actually getting legendary ranked on a phone. 
And once again, I will be live streaming. As soon as I post this video, I'll be live streaming on my second channel and we'll be probably doing a couple hours every day trying to get to legendary. So, so make sure to sub to my stream channel so you guys can actually see that. But anyway, let's go ahead and load in. Totally, totally random team and see how this goes. I played on my phone a little bit. Like I played gun games here and there and like I'll hop on my phone when I want to test stuff with my iPad, but I haven't like played. Using the ADS feature is weird too because... I don't know. Anyway, let's go. This is our very first game. Hopefully the hand cam can see. You guys can see the game. You guys can see me. All right, we're all good to go. We're all set. Hopefully the HUD isn't super distracting. There obviously is a lot of buttons, but that'll kind of get, they'll become more um, transparent as we get into the game. All right, that's our first kill of the, the grind. My light's a little, oh, that's one. Okay, that's one problem I expect to happen a lot is swiping down. That's the thing about four finger claw. I'm gonna have to get used to not swiping very much i have to just tap oh man drop shotting and all that's gonna take me a little bit to get used to because i'm not really focused on being that good but we'll learn got that oh i swiped oh first drop shot no i keep doing that oh let's go yeah, so I have a light on my face right now, and it's really bright, and it's making it kind of hard to see the game. So, definitely going to have to try to figure that out. Oh, that was bad. No, 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 no. I keep swiping down. I might have to move my buttons a tad bit, because they are, like, I don't know. I wish there was a setting to turn that off. I also have an Android phone that I could use, because it's, like, the same size. We'll see. Because I don't think it has that same feature, which is going to be a lot nicer for gaming. The UAV. Okay. Oh my god. I can barely see people right now with my light being so bright in my eyes. Definitely gonna have to fix that. Nice. I'm gonna toss this up because the game is really close right now. That guy's definitely the, the sweatiest player so far. Brighter. No. 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 <gasps> Bro, I thought I was, I thought I was far. There's a Goliath in it. No, 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 no. Did they get it? Oh, nice. Wait, did they break it? Where'd it go? Okay. Nice little jump shot there. Dude, I can't believe that. It's so hard to like focus on all these different things when I'm trying to focus on everything else. Oh my God. That's such a problem right now is like swiping down. Around the corner. They have an XS1 for real. Nice. So you gonna walk through with the XS1? I'm ready to. Give me some wall bangs. No. I really don't want to mess with that to be honest. Nice, GG's. All right, so we actually got to win first game. <laughs> so yeah, there's a couple things I need to figure out. I do have a another phone that's an Android, so it won't have that swipe down issue. I think that I might use. But I'm pretty sure we'll stick with the iPhone. I just got to figure out how to not do that because that's probably a problem that a lot of people relate to because normally when I play with the iPad, my hands are right here. So it's not at the top of the screen swiping down. So maybe I'll just shift my hands down and the buttons down or just stop swiping down, I guess. Maybe that's just my biggest issue is my finger kind of presses and drags down. Anyway, that's game one. I mean, not, not bad for our first game. Obviously, we're playing rookies and all that. So kind of a mismatch, but... I mean, I'm a rookie, rookie one too. So we got level 26 as well. So we're going to get the, ooh, nice. I might actually use that. 21 and three though. We'll take it. First game. Obviously we're playing a bunch of bots, but eh, for the most part, I thought all my buttons were good. I don't think I really have to do anything besides maybe put the transparency down on like these guys. Sensitivity felt nice. I just got to get used to it. Um, I might put these down a little bit just so I'm not pressing the top. We'll see how that goes. So I think we will do a video at rookie one and then veteran one, elite one, pro one, and then master one. And then from there, we'll do master two, three, four, eight, five, and then legendary. And that should be right around 10 episodes. So I don't know. I think that'll be the best way to do it. Make sure to comment down below if you guys want me to do more than 10 episodes or less. Uh, hopefully we can actually get this done. And then once again, if you want to watch it live, it'll be on the stream channel. Yeah. With that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you guys later. Peace.